Good morning, everyone. Now, this is a series of lecture for your BCA and analytical chemistry student. Now, in this video, this video is different from the another uh, videos because uh, similarly in previous like uh, video videos, we are going to learn about the practical involved in physical chemistry (TYBC). Now, this is the TYBC physical chemistry practical. Now, this is experiment number five. Now, aim of the practical. What is the aim of the practical? Here, colorimetric step, uh, colorimetric instrument we used for the determination of copper present in the given copper sulfate solution and uh, using standard solution of EDT. Now, here EDT is nothing but the complex and this complex is added into the copper sulfate solution to give a pronounced effect of the color of the copper sulfate solution uh, so that this color intensity that can be measured with the help of colorimetry Colorimetry is nothing but it is where we get the intensity of transmitted light as a function of uh, can say concentration. Now here the principle is this is the principle of colorimetry. Here some apparatus used colorimeter and accessories, volume, flask, grid and grid. Now this is all about the apparatus. Theory. Ethylene diamond, this is the structure of ethylene diamond. This is the structure of ethylene uh, diamond. This is the ethylene group, and the ethylene is attached to the two amide group, NH group. And this NH is further attached to the acetic acid or can say the uh, four acetate ion group. So, this is all about the ethylene, ethylene, ethylene diamond tetracyclic acid structure. And it is a strong complexing agent and forms complexes with various metal ions. It is usually used in the disodium salt. It forms a complexes with copper 2 and many other ions in 1 as to 1 mole ratio. Estimation of copper 2 is possible with photometric measurement at a particular wavelength. So, particular wavelength is selected by measuring different concentrations and high lambda max values selected for that. The copper DDT complex absorbs in the visible region for more strongly at wavelength of for its lamb lambda max. So, the lambda max is nothing but the, it is a wavelength where the maximum absorption takes place. Maximum absorption of concentration, different concentrations are prepared and different concentrations are subjected to colorimetry and lambda max or filter is selected. Now, the amount of copper solution is taken for estimation and solution of DDT is added with the help of burette. The absorbance is noted at 660 nanometer for each addition of copper EDT. The absorbance goes on increasing with increasing concentration of copper EDT complex up to the equivalence point. Now here, when we prepare a copper sulfate solution of proper concentration and ethylene diamine is ethylene diamine tetracyclic acid that is EDTA is added to into it. The uh, copper EDT complex is formed, and this copper EDT, uh, copper EDT complex uh, goes on uh, go, the concentration of copper EDT complex or color intensity of copper EDT uh, complex goes on increasing when uh, the further addition of EDT with further addition of EDT. The total Cu ion turns into equivalence point of this copper EDT complex at the equivalence point giving maximum absorbance. Now, in the copper sulfate solution, copper 2 plus ions present and this copper 2 plus ions react with the EDTA. Uh, when we add the EDTA from the, we can say, burette or any uh, measuring instrument, uh, the total concentration of copper 2 plus is consumed by the EDTA. And at the equivalence point, there is no copper 2 plus ion present. So, we get the equivalence point as a limiting value or we can say is a straight line value. The titration is performed at 625 nanometer. Both the copper EDT chelate and the copper plus ion absorb at this value, but the molar absorptivity of the chelate is much higher. The points fall below the extra polarity line is in the end point region because the re reaction is incomplete near the equivalence point. After the equivalence point, the added excess EDT titrant forces the reaction to completion. The further addition of titan leads to dilution. Now here, uh, further addition goes, uh, it uh, results into the dilution, that is decrease, decrease in concentration. Similarly, you can say decrease, decrease in absorbance. Therefore, the absorbance will decrease slightly. The pH is critical for this titration because the large change in pH changes the effective binding constant. An acetate buffer is used to maintain the pH between 2.4 to 2.8 to avoid this problem. 
So this is why the acidic buffer is used because uh, this titration is very sensitive to pH changes. This low pH also permits the copper to be titrated in the presence of metal ion to form the weaker complexes with EDTA. Photometric titrations offer additional advantages. Now this is nothing but a theory associated with this practical. Now the chemicals 0.05 molar copper sulfate, 0.1 molar EDT, acetate buffer that is nothing but pH 2.2 to 2.4 and how the acetate buffer is prepared. Add 1 molar solution of hydrochloric acid to, 3, to 350 ml of sodium acetate of 1 molar concentration until the pH of the mixture is 2.2 measured by the pH meter. This is the standard procedure for the preparation of 2 acetate buffer. Now the procedure. Now determination of lanomax or copper radio complex. How the how can say lanomax that is maximum absorber, absorption. Uh, so uh, maximum absorption wavelength is selected here. Standardize the spectrophotometer or colorimeter as per instrument provided in the manual. Take 10 ml. Take 10 ml of 0.5 molar, 0.05 molar copper sulfate solution. So in the cubit, we just take 10 ml of 0.5 uh, molar. Okay, see in the beaker, small beaker. Uh, 10 ml of 0.5 molar a copper sulfate solution and 20 ml acetate buffer solution is there. So, this total volume becomes 30 ml because 10 ml of copper sulfate and, and 20 ml of acetate buffer solution. Add 8 ml of 0.1 molar EDTA solution. Is there. Add addition, we have to add 8 molar, 8 ml of 0.1 molar EDTA. Shake the solution and use the solution for the determination of lambda max of copper EDTA complex using water as a blank. So, uh, with the help of water as a reference, we uh, just uh, adjust the knob uh, of colorimeter to 100% uh, transmittance or 0% absorbance. So, this is the standardization of uh, we can say colorimeter. And when we take the first initial reading uh, for the lambda max determination, we just prepare a 10 ml of copper sulfate, 20 ml of acetate buffer, and 8 ml of uh, EDA so that the total volume becomes 20, 38 ml. Uh, filter one, filter number one is inserted in the proper place. The reference solution is placed in the cell. Cell means what? It is a reaction cell or can say cuvette. And instrument is made on with the help of zero adjustment knob. The absorbance is made zero. Then the reference solution is removed and is uh, reference solution is nothing but the water solution, and it is replaced by the cuvette having solution as prepared above. So, how the solution is prepared, the, uh, we can say here, uh, the column second is given. After waiting for few minutes, absorbance is recorded. And the same procedure is repeated for all uh, filters available and at wavelength and, mag and uh, available uh, wavelength and absorbance or the optical density are recorded. The wavelength is plotted against absorbance and from the graph. The filter which is showing maximum absorbance is determined and this is called as a lambda max which is used in the part B. So this is the part A for the determination of lambda max. We just prepare a solution and it is subjected to uh, colorimeter absorbance so measurement and so that we get the lambda max value here. Now this is the table, this is the filter. So 420 uh, 460, 4, 500, 570, uh, 610, uh, 660 and 710. So these are the number of filters we use here and we get the uh, corresponding absorbance of that particular solution. Select that wavelength or can say select that field lambda max value where we get the maximum we can say higher bonds or higher limit or can say higher value of absorbance. So higher value of absorbance that corresponds to higher value of concentration. Estimation of copper. Estimation of copper. Set the filter uh, as a determine uh, as a uh, determine in part uh, corresponding to maximum wavelength. So select this wavelength properly. If if it is not so, select another wavelength. No doubt you can say there is no problem. That 625 nanometer is uh, can say selected wavelength for the absorbance. No, we get the different wavelength also. Prepare out 10 ml. Prepare out 10 ml of given solution of copper sulfate in a conical class, add 20 ml acid buffer solution and 50 ml water in it. 
so in a beaker 10 ml of copper give a given copper sulfate that is a point not 5 molar uh, copper sulfate is uh, uh, given or can say in a conical flask it is uh, can say given add 20 ml acetate buffer solution and add 50 ml water into it fill the burette with the 0.1 molar edt so micro burette should be there from the burette add 0.5 ml so we have to add this quantity only 0.5 ml of edt into the conical flask and shake the solution so this is the first first reading from this solution take sufficient quantity into the properly cleaned liquid and find out its absorbance at lambda max which is adjusted to zero which is which is adjusted to read zero absorbance by taking water as a blank so here when we get the lambda max value again with the help of reference that is water we adjust that uh, reading to zero so here uh, and uh, we get the different uh, we get the first reading transfer the solution from the cuvette back into the conical flask and further add into it again 0.5 ml solution from the cuvette shake well and again take into the same cuvette uh, up to the mark and find the absorbance of the solution as above this continue the same procedure <coughs> up to 2 ml of the cuvette reading after 2 ml of the cuvette reading carry out the titration by adding 0.2 ml of EDTA solution at a time. After requirements point constant reading and uh, of absorbance are obtained, continue till 5 to 6 fairly constant readings are obtained. So here, first we have to add 0.5 ml 4 times and then that is when the, we can say the volume of the EDTA decreases with 2 ml. After 2 ml of the period reading, carry out the titration by adding only we have to add 0.2 ml. So care should be taken that first uh, first four readings should be in the interval of 0.5 ml so that 2 ml will be completed and after uh, 2 ml we should add 0.2 ml now this will be the observation table this will be the observation table it is a 0.5 1 1 0.5 2 2 2 after 2 ml we should add 2.2 2.4 2.6 so in the interval of 0.2 ml and here the filter used at its lambda max value that is 625 now this is a graph this is the graph is the thing about the calibration graph or in the in this practical y axis is the optical density that is optical density is nothing but the a value and uh, that is the absorbance value and here ml of 0.1 molar edt that should be added here ml of 0.1 molar EDT that should be added here. We plot a graph of an intersection of two lines gives the equivalence point of it may be XML. So this should be the XML. This is a this is the point at which we get the constant readings, and this is the point we get the straight line. We can say uh, line passing through the origin, or we can say in the. Uh, titration reading these are the titration original titration reading um, after this point equivalence point is come and uh, i uh, okay say it will be constant further so this is all about the and this graph is nothing but the calibration curve graph or you can see calibration calibration graph method and now calculations how the calculations are performed now here this is standard 1000 ml of one molar edt contains yeah, this total equivalent weight of the copper sulphate so cu2 plus that is a 63.54 equivalent weight 1000 ml of 0.1 molar copper edta uh, only edta 1000 ml of 0.1 molar so concentration will become uh, 10 times less so here actual value is 63.54 so it should be again it decreases up to it's a 10 times so 6.354 so x ml of 0.1 molar edta is equal to 6.354 into x divided by 1000 and this is a gram of copper 2 plus in terms of gram so if we if we get the here 2 ml or 3 ml or 3.2 ml we should multiply it by that value 6.354 into 3.2 so if the period reading comes finally or equivalence come uh, equivalence point come at the 3.2 ml then 6.354 into 2 divided by 1000 whatever the reading that should be right here what, whatever the calculations that should be uh, obtained here we can write here 
तो टेन एल ऑफ टेन एम एल ऑफ कॉपर घेन कॉपर सल्फेट कंटेन्स दी एवं हाउ मच क्वांटिटी दिस क्वांटिटी दैट इज डब्ल्यू सो दिस क्वांटिटी इज नथिंग बट इज डब्ल्यू एंड द डायल्यूशन फैक्टर इज हंड्रेड हियर बिकॉज टेन एम एल एंड वन थाउजेंड एम एल देर इज डायल्यूशन फैक्टर हंड्रेड सो हंड्रेड गेट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई डब्ल्यू सो वी गेट द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इन वन थाउजेंड एम एल ऑफ कॉपर सल्फेट सोल्यूशन सो हंड्रेड इंटू डब्ल्यू सो वी कैन राइट दिस वी कैन से दिस आंसर हियर एंड वट एवर मैक्सिम वेलिंग इज ऑफ कैन राइट हियर Now here, absorbance versus wavelength. This is the first graph. Absorbance versus wavelength is plotted, and we get the lambda max value here at the at the near about 720. Near about 720. Now here, uh, we get the again absorbance second graph. Absorbance versus ml of titanium added is there, so 3.2 ml, 3.2 ml. So this will be the end point of the titration. So uh, uh, this is the absorbance versus ml of titanium added, or you can say ml of uh, copper uh, EDT added. Titanium is nothing but the here. Titanium is nothing but the EDT. So we get we extrapolate this line to y-axis. We get the 3.2. Uh, we extrapolate this line to x-axis so that we get the 3.2 ml. Now here the, uh, I have already said that 1000 ml of 1 molar EDT contains how much 63.54 ions. So 1000 ml of 0.1 molar EDT contains 6.354. So this depending upon the Birot trading, uh, we can say uh, we get the three equivalence point, or we can say depending upon the graph, we get the equivalence point uh, when we extrapolate to x-axis. And uh, the uh, W is equal to only here. If you take, uh, if you get the value of 3.2, then obviously W is equal to 0.020, uh, 3328 grams. Now 100 into W, we get the 2.0328 gram of copper 2 plus ions. So 1000 ml of copper sulfate solution contains how much? 2 grams, approximately. So this will be the result table. Lambda max of a copper EDT complex solution contains 700 nanometer. Uh, lambda max of copper sulfate complex solution is obtained at this value 700 nanometer concentration of copper 2 plus in the given solution whatever we prepared that solution of 0.05 molar concentration then the uh, total amount should be 2 gram per liter so this is the verification or validation of the uh, colorimetric titration or can say uh, colorimetric estimation of copper 2 plus ion Uh, in copper sulfate solution by using standard solution of copper uh, uh, by using standard solution of ethylene diamond tetraacetic acid solution with this content i conclude this lecture thank you very much for your patience listening